I just installed macOS Monterey on my mid 2014 like now MacBook Pro. Uh, I'm recording this from my M1 Mac Mini, so my M1 Mac Mini is supported. Uh, otherwise, you can get the install package from MrMacIndosh.com, or if your Mac, if you have another Mac that is supported, you can get from the Mac App Store. Uh, go anyway install that package or get the Mac App Store that app should be in your application folder like this you need to right click and uh, click show package contents go to contents and uh, go to resources here you can see that create install media drag and drop that to a terminal uh, you need to add sudo in front of that path and now you need to uh, use your uh, pen drive a 32 GB pen drive is preferred you need to add dash dash volume in front of that path and format that pen drive in Mac OS extended journal uh, that is very important uh, I think APFS is not supported uh, for creating install media anyway that it will uh, reformat the drive anyway uh, you need to you can drag and drop that uh, to the terminal or copy and paste that path uh, after dash dash volume and now press enter you, it will ask for your administrator password give that password uh, it will ask for con confirmation plus press y and it will take some time it will depend it, it depends on your uh, speed of your pen drive uh, for me it took around 10 minutes uh, I'm going to download the open legacy patcher search on Google and go to his github github page uh, I'm going to download the nightly T UI because for some reason the stable reason didn't work for mid 2014 version uh, you can download the latest release or nightly uh, for me nightly worked uh, I'm opening the open core legacy patcher uh, that's it we download the open core legacy patcher TUI version uh, copying all data to the USB is still in progress you can see that in the background I'm multitasking okay <laughs> copying to disk 10% uh, okay uh, that, that's terminal for uh, verification my system is working or not uh, plus 3 to change the model because I am uh, in my Mac mini M1 Mac mini it is not supported so it will you can type anything and it will show all the model numbers here uh, for my MacBook Pro uh, the model number is MacBook Pro 11 comma 3 uh, you can copy that or you need to select uh, that model number you cannot select you need to copy that and again press 3 and paste that model number correctly now you can see that the selected model macbook pro 11,3 uh, my uh, usb is created and now i am going to install that to install uh, open core patcher to the usb you can follow the screen uh, it will ask for the password and you need to give the password you will see something like this copying open core copying open core to EFI partition that's it uh, plug that into the MacBook Pro and select EFI it will show a screen like this and you will be landed on this screen that is install macOS Monterey anyway do this uh, installation before backing up everything keep at full time machine backup and a disk image if you like and uh, from here everything is same as before just click agree uh, select the disk and uh, go through the process it will take some time for uh, this machine it will restart couple of times and for this machine the mid 2014 macbook pro it will stack uh, the progress bar the progress bar will stack for uh, around 30 percent and it will stay forever and uh, your mac will tell you to open voice over or something like that uh, you need to uh, go ahead and uh, press shift and uh, select the macOS uh, 
icon uh, I'm again going to download the TUI patcher on the uh, machine mid 2014 MacBook Pro after installation so if the installer is stuck and uh, the your Mac is telling you to open voiceover you need to force shut down your Mac and press uh, shift after going to EFI uh, press shift and select the Mac OS installation uh, that is a must step in this uh, open core version uh, for this particular model macbook pro mid 2014 i open uh, that open core patcher and i'm going to show you the issue uh, that is already reported and it is a non issue and you can find that in the issue section of open core legacy patcher that gt 750m hangs with on apple logo that is a common problem uh, yeah that macbook pro 11 comma 3 g mux issue that 12 beta 7 or newer uh, that is the issue we are facing right now so you need to copy and paste that one command in the terminal sudo nvram blah 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 gpu power something like that copy that line and to avoid that uh, apple logo progress stack issue uh, open a new command uh, command sorry open a new terminal window and paste that command uh, give your password administrator password that's it uh, that issue is resolved now you need to install the volume uh, patch uh, because we have uh, that gt 750m gpu and uh, for that we, uh, every time you need to build open core before uh, installing that uh, now the model number is 11 comma 3 because we are on that macbook pro so now select uh, 3 and now it is showing that uh, it is going to install some volume patch uh, it's asking for confirmation uh, it is going to download 160 mb of file from github or somewhere uh, it is unzipping that uh, just press enter and follow the screen give the password and it will take some time to rebuild the cache couple of seconds it's rebuilding the cache unmounting the volume you don't have any inputs here just watch what is going on okay done now I'm going to restart this PC sorry Mac terminate the terminal and now you can uh, see uh, the option is still there you can remove that also again we are back on the desktop uh, build and we are going to patch the internal ssd select 2 select 0 uh, internal ssd select 1 efy give the password that's it uh, we now we patched the internal ssd and now you can remove the usb uh, from your machine and uh, your machine will uh, also you need to press options and select the mac os uh, drive for next reboot it will automatically uh, select that efi uh, select you selected the e if you selected the efi it will automatically select that option and you don't need to worry about that in future again i'm going to uh, open open core patcher uh, to disable the boot picker uh, see the show uh, set show picker mode uh, i'm going to disable that because it will show that uh, boot drive for a couple of seconds uh, this if you do this it will go away and your your mac will uh, boot like before the blank screen apple logo login screen that's it there is no uh, no one will say that this is a hack or something like that 
uh, it's very good software open core legacy patcher i'm going to restart after disabling the boot picker uh, thanks to mr mackintosh for his uh, work he put out a lot of videos and that encouraged me to do this uh, i think my mid 2014 macbook pro will get another one or two year uh, because of this open core legacy patcher and mr mackintosh and give the damn password as you can see it rebooted and it will it just show the apple logo and done now you can sleep wake you can uh, control brightness bluetooth is working speaker is working external monitor is working uh, almost everything is working i don't know uh, any problem uh, currently i'm facing or not because i am not accidentally used to this but so far so good everything is working fine i didn't notice any particular issue with this so far uh, anyway i will post this in the pinned comment if there is any major issue in this youtube video uh, anyway that's it for now i just sharing my experience and i know it's not a very good video uh, i am very bad at editing and very bad at voiceover uh, anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. This is Vishnu. Bye.